If you want to be roommates with your friend, get ready to fight over food. When you live together, a morning trip to the bathroom turns into a challenge. That's what you get. You snooze, you lose. Well, are you almost done? How long do I have to wait? Stop guarding the bathroom. Just use our idea instead. Your friend left her phone in the hallway. That changes things. Call her. Your roommate hears her ringtone and can't hold back her curiosity. And of course, jumps out of the bathroom. Now's your chance to slip in and close the door behind you. Okay, who was calling me? Maybe it's the handsome guy I met in a cafe yesterday. But it's her friend's number that's displayed on the screen. You're such a prankster. When you share a room with someone, the concept of personal things loses all its meaning. Everything is pretty much shared. And that really annoys my roommate. That's my cup. Don't drink from my mugs. I didn't mean to mix them up, but she can't be stopped. She dips a brush in paint and draws directly on her hand, completely covering her palm with blue acrylic paint. Boo! Aren't you scared? And she leaves a mark on the mug. Look and remember, my cup looks like this. And now let's tag yours. I'd love to. How interesting. Choose another color to paint your hand with. Now the second mug also has its own stamp. You'll definitely be able to keep them separate. Great job, Rumi! It looks like a sugar gremlin moved into this room. She destroys candy and leaves a whole mountain of wrappers behind. My candy! What did she do to you? I will miss you so much! To hide the candy from your greedy roommate, you need a plastic organizer. Remove the top container. Cover it with a layer of purple acrylic paint. Done! The container has to be completely opaque. Now, take an old disc. Make a lid out of it. Put the candy in the box and cover it with the disc. Put the container on the shelf with discs and enjoy your candy. Crazed candy maniacs always return to the crime scene, but now there are no candies on the shelf. Hmm. There are discs on the shelf for discs. That makes sense, but it seems like this time I'll have to go without candy. My roommate can be so greedy. Oh, I think someone's coming. Don't worry, Chips. I won't give you to anyone. Take wide double-sided tape. Stick the tape to the package. Tear off the protective layer. No one will find you here for sure. Fasten the chips under the table. You can get chips right from under the table and no one will notice anything. Your roommate wonders, what are you crunching on? No, you must have imagined it. Sometimes your daily needs and your schedule don't match up. And when one roommate needs to prepare for an exam, the second one has already been asleep for hours. Please, turn off the lights. I'm sleeping. Well, I'm sorry. I have to study. I'm so tired of all of this. I need to find a way out of the situation quickly. I think I know what to do. A soft sleeping mask will help us. To make it, take thin socks. They can even be from different pairs. Cut out the toes. Sew the pieces together with a thread and a needle. Fill them with stuffing. Sew the mini cushions with blanket stitches. Fasten an elastic band. Decorate the seams with pom-poms. Draw the eyes with a marker. Done! The sleepy roommate puts on the mask and plunges into total darkness and the bright light from the lamp won't bother her eyes. This heat is exhausting. I would like to pack a suitcase and go to Antarctica. Poor baby penguin, how can I help you? Let me blow on you. 
Or maybe I should work as a professional fan holder. Also no? And what if you set a hairdryer to supply cold air? None of this is right. Then I know exactly what will help you. Ice beads. You will need an ice mold. Take a chain and put it in the mold. Dip the chain links in the cells. Pour in water. Put it in the freezer until it freezes. Take the chain out of the mold and put it on your friend. The Snow Queen's necklace. That's what she needed. It's so nice to see a smile on her face again. My pants are soaking wet. But I was going to wear them today. What can I do? I can't think of anything. Hmm. Dry them on the fan. Actually, that's a great idea. Pull the pants on the fan. Tie a belt. Turn the fan on to full capacity. Look, the legs are fluttering in the wind. This powerful airflow will dry them very quickly. Awesome! Just when you let yourself relax a bit, your roommate appears on the horizon. Why is there such a mess? Are you even going to clean up after yourself? Chip packages? Pieces of paper? Empty bottles? Look, there's a whole bunch of trash! What am I meant to do with it? I don't have a dustpan. Oh, an empty pizza box. That's a great recycling idea. Cut the pizza box and use one of the halves instead of a dustpan. Sweep up the trash in the box. Voila, the room is clean again. Get up, couch potato. Can you at least take out the garbage? We worked so hard. Where's my apartment key? I'm already late. Oh, my roommate again. I'm going to teach her a lesson. Did you take my keys again? Uh, um, I'll check. Well, of course, everything is as usual. Sorry, it's just that they look exactly the same. Well, not for long. I take the keys away from my friend and come back with good news. Now we can easily recognize them. You need jars of colored sand, two photos, and a pair of keys. Place a photo in an empty jar. Roll it up. Pour in the colored sand. Cork and shake so that the layers mix. Fasten the chain to the key. Attach the outermost link to the ring on the cork. Enjoy your bright friendship charms. I hate it when it's already my birthday and nobody said anything to me about it. And my friend is minding her own business. It looks like she completely forgot. So, what is happening here? Here are the parts of the equation. A depressed roommate and a weird hat. Sherlock, start deducing. Oh, it seems like it's this sad Eeyore's birthday today. Oops. Run to the store for a cake. You can decorate it with ordinary matches. Stick matches into the cake to get the right number. 17 years old is the best age. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Balloons and a cake with a number? What else do you need for a birthday to go well? But the most important thing is coming up. Light the matches on the cake. The figure sparks bright lights. Hurry up! Make a wish! Your friend blows out the burning number. Happy birthday and may all your dreams come true! Time for tea! We will tell you how to have enough tea for two with one tea bag. Unwrap the tea bag. Cut off the thread with the label. Cut a kiwi, a lemon, and an apple into pieces. You'll see, fruits and tea make a great combination. Toss the ingredients into the teapot with water. Bring to a boil. Let the drink stand a little. Pour the tea into cups. Green tea with the aroma of fresh fruits? Ah! <sighs> we wish you could smell it. And it is very tasty. Will you try this out? Everyone's favorite potato dish is mashed potatoes. But making it with a fork is a bit complicated. The most you can get is a smushed potato. Ha! 
This potato looks so squashed! To prevent this from happening, use a glass bottle. Mash the potatoes with the bottle and get light, fluffy mashed potatoes. Bon appetit! There's a gladiator fight on the culinary arena! Who will win today? Splashing hot oil from a griddle with vegetables? Or a defenseless friend with a spatula? Oh, I don't feel so good! For this life hack, you will need a pizza box. Draw a rectangle with a marker. Cut it out with a sharp knife. Open the box. Fasten an elastic band from the inside. Use a hot glue gun. Glue this super cooker to suit your friend. She inserts her hand under the elastic band and uses the box as a shield. Watching your vegetables through the window of a protective suit, she is completely safe. Evil hot spray? I'm not afraid of you anymore! Did you like our life hacks for roommates? Let us know which ones you're going to use! Like this video and be sure to send it to your friends! Click on the bell and subscribe to our channel to watch even more useful ideas from Troom Troom Select!